Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about introduction to Azure pipelines. Okay, in previous videos in the playlist, we discussed about what is Azure, uh, what is Azure DevOps, what is Azure Boards, Azure Repos, and continuing with this series, we'll discuss about what are Azure pipelines. Okay, so under pipelines, you can see we have quite a lot of options like pipelines, environment, and many so. First, before jumping into this, let's try to understand what is Azure pipelines in general and why do we need pipelines and all. All right. So, before watching this video, if you are someone who are right away watching this video, I would suggest you to watch my introduction video on Azure DevOps. Okay. If you go to my channel, if you can search for an IT professional and under playlist, you, I have a playlist called Azure DevOps. So, if you go here, you can watch my very first video on the playlist which is called Azure DevOps Tutorial Introduction. The reason why I am suggesting you to watch this video is because it would uh, give very much uh, clear idea about why do we need Azure Pipelines. Because in order to understand Azure Pipelines, you should understand the process that is actually happening in DevOps. So uh, by understanding the process that is actually happening in DevOps, you can uh, easily relate all those concepts in building the pipeline. Okay, so I would su definitely suggest you to watch not only this video. If you are watching this video for first time, you can uh, continue. Uh, you know, I have made the videos in a sequential order. I would suggest you to watch everything on a sequential order for better understanding and mastering Azure DevOps. Okay, now let's jump on to our PowerPoint. So, what is Azure Pipelines? Okay, before understanding uh, Azure Pipelines, let's try to understand what is pipelines in general. Okay, so pipeline is a, a DevOps pipeline is a set of automated process and tools that allows both developers and operational professionals to work cohesively to build and deploy code to production environment. Okay, so in general, you can understand from the definition a pipeline is an automation activity. Okay, so it is an automated activity which will allow both the development team and operation team to work together to build and deploy the code to a production environment. All right. So you know, uh, in a uh, what happens in general in a DevOps process is you will develop a code, you will uh, build it, you will test it, and finally deploy the code to production environment in an automated fashion. Okay, there are a lot of multiple lot of steps involved in between, but for a high level understanding, that is uh, I am just giving a very basic example. Okay, so all these activity you know, will be done in an automated fashion. So everything will be done in an automated fashion. That's the ultimate goal of uh, DevOps pipeline. So let's try to understand how this actually works. Okay, Azure pipeline automatically builds and test code projects. So what it actually does is it will automatically build and test the code projects. So do not worry if this is really confusing and or if it is at a higher level, we'll see all these concepts in a practical session in our upcoming videos. For now, you just focus on understanding all these concepts and just try to understand little keywords from this particular uh, Azure Pipeline video. Right, so it supports all major languages and project types and combines continuous integration, continuous delivery and continuous testing to build, test and deliver your code to any destination. Okay, so these three concepts are very much important for you to understand how one pipeline works. One is continuous integration, another is continuous delivery, and the final one is continuous testing. Okay, so you have to actually understand all these concepts uh, to actually uh, get a clear view of what a pipeline is and how a pipeline runs in general. Okay, first let's try to understand what is continuous integration. Okay. So by the name, you can actually understand continuous integration means uh, it's a process of merging all your code. Okay, so if it will allow developers to frequently merge your code changes in a central repository or in a version control system. Okay, so let's try to look at all this bulletin one by one so that you will have a very sequential understanding about what is continuous integration. Okay, continuous integration is the practice used by development teams for automating, merging and testing your code. Okay, so this is a practice that is used by most of the uh, development teams. So it, it's, it's a primary DevOps best practice. Continuous integration is the primary DevOps best practice which will allow developers to frequently merge code changes into a central repository like a Git or any other version control uh, that is supported by Azure DevOps. Okay, and finally CI helps to 
catch bugs early in the development life cycle which will make them very less expensive to which will make them very less, less expensive to fix okay the earlier the bug is find obviously you can fix it in earlier in the development life cycle which will uh, allow you to which will actually make the expensive very less uh, to fix you know if you find a bug at the initial phase of the development life cycle it is obviously it takes very uh, less time and less cost to fix if you find a bug at the very last time la uh, at in the last minute uh, it is going to be very costly and it is going to be very expensive and tedious to fix okay so continuous integration helps by you know, automating the task and it uh, you know by frequent uh, releases and frequent build it will try to uh, catch the bugs as early as possible which will be very beneficial for a team okay so this is what a Uh, this is what we generally call as continuous integration okay and next we'll discuss about continuous delivery okay as the name indicates continuous delivery is a process by which code is built tested and deployed to one or more test or production environment okay so obviously you build a code uh, next step is to uh, you know uh, deploy it to into any environment you uh, depending on the project you might have multiple environments you might have a uh, test environment you have and you might have an uat environment you will have a production environment so based on your project requirement you will have a different virtual uh, different <coughs> environment so the uh, mm, the main process of continuous delivery is to uh, you know uh, build code test and deploy code to the t- uh, one or more test or production environment okay so deploying and testing in multiple environment increases the quality okay so obviously when you Uh, try to deploy a code in a different environments uh, the code quality increases because you will be able to find uh, most of the bugs uh, most environment level bugs or uh, most code level bugs also if you try to test it in a different environments obviously you can find lot of bugs and it will actually improve the quality of your code right so continuous delivery system produce deployable artifacts including infrastructure and apps an automated release process consume these artifacts to release new versions and fixes to existing system okay there is a concept called artifact okay artifact you can imagine it like a package um, or a module or a bundle okay so th- th- it is again a separate concept there is something called azure artifact which will help you to uh, like you know package the code or more like a bundle the code Uh, so uh, for now i'm ju- i'm not jumping in very detail into artifact we'll make a separate video about it for now you can imagine it more like a package or a bundle all right so by uh, uh, automated releases process consuming these artifacts uh, to release newer version and fixes to the existing system all right so next we have continuous testing okay as the name indicates continuous testing means you gonna test it on a automated fashion okay so whether your app is on the on premises or in the cloud you can automate uh, build deploy test workflows and choose technologies and frameworks of your choice then you can test your changes continuously in a fast scalable and efficient manner uh, the uh, what continuous testing actually uh, 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 benefit is it will maintain quality and find problems as you develop Okay. continuous testing with azure devops server ensures your app still works after every check in and build enabling you to find problems earlier by running tests automatically with each build okay so what happens is so whenever you uh, you know you make a code change in real time right so if you have uh, if you have this pipeline uh, set up ready so what happens is you right away make a code change and right away the build will run and the test uh, the test will also run in the pipeline so that uh, whenever you make a code change if there are any failures build failures or any test level failures you can fix it right away and push it to production uh, so that your code quality is always high okay uh, do not worry if you are if you if you do not understand these statements very much we'll discuss uh, we'll see some practical sessions in our upcoming videos which will give you a better understanding all right so you can use any test type or any test framework choose your preferred test technologies and frameworks like you can choose anything uh, of your choice okay it has very uh, rich analytics and reporting so when your build is done you can review your test results to resolve any issues 
and action uh, so you can uh, export your test results in a form of a report and all in your build itself so that you can uh, clearly see uh, what are the tests run what is the test result uh, so there are a lot of uh, test related artifacts that is available when you run on a pipeline so actionable build on build reports let you instantly see if your builds are getting healthier but it's not just about speed detail and customizable test results measure the quality of your app okay so uh, we'll, we'll see an example about all the tests also in our upcoming videos uh, to have a clear understanding okay so uh, you need to be very clear about what this process is okay uh, initially do not confuse much but just try to understand all these concepts on a higher level uh, when we see practical you have a very clear idea so continuous integration continuous delivery and continuous testing are the three major concepts that you should understand okay next concept what you should understand is uh, version control system obviously we discussed about Azure repos earlier right so Azure dev uh, repos is like you can um, have a version control system integrated with git all right so here Azure pipelines request your source code to be in a version control system so if you want to use Azure pipeline obviously it should be available your code should be available in a version control system so Azure DevOps supports two forms of version control one is git and Azure repos which we saw in our earlier playlist right so uh, any changes you push to your version control repository are automatically built and validated okay so what happens in real time is so your uh, version uh, your code will be available in your version control like github or azure repos uh, so whenever you make a code change okay so it will uh, when, when i say when you make a code change means whenever you push your code or merge your code to your master branch in your azure repos what happens is right away the build will be triggered automatically and it will be validated okay so uh, let's see those examples in our upcoming videos so what are the languages and applications that are supported so you can build test and deploy uh, node.js uh, python java php ruby c sharp and so uh, and many other uh, languages which is supported in the azure pipelines okay so you can run all these apps in parallel on linux mac os or windows okay so azure devops offers tasks to build and test like there will be a task okay so in there will be an option called task in your azure pipelines which will actually help you to uh, build and test okay we'll see all those in our upcoming sessions again uh, deployment targets okay so use azure pipelines to deploy your code to multiple targets so when i say multiple targets means it's a it's you can imagine an environment say you can it, it can be a virtual machine it can be an environment it can be like a container it can be on premises or cloud platforms or any fast services okay so you you can imagine as it has everything as an environment and package formats so uh, to produce packages that can be consumed by others okay so if you you have built some code and you make it in a form of package and you if you wanna uh, uh, if you want that package to be consumed by others you can publish it to new get new new get npm maven packages to the built-in package management repository in the azure pipelines okay so you can also use any other uh, package management repository of your choice but these are the popular uh, uh, packages that is available and that is usually used in your azure pipelines okay the pricing for azure devops okay and <coughs> i know this is not the content i want to uh, explain in detail about uh, sorry this is not the content i am focusing on in this particular video but the reason why i want to highlight this is because you know if you use public projects azure pipelines is free but if you will need to request a free grant of parallel jobs you need to uh, request this grant by submitting a request okay i will give you this link in the description you can uh, it, it will be in uh, form uh, okay you need to fill in the details and submit it okay uh, so if you use a private projects you can run up to 1800 minutes that is up to 30 hours of pipeline jobs for every month okay and there's something called azure devops server you can look into my introduction video to have a very better understanding of this um with 
5 or less active users, Azure DevOps Express is free, simple to set up and installs both on client and server operating system. Okay, I'm not going to dig in deeper. I will give you all the useful links in the description. You can look at that and you can start using it accordingly as per your requirement. Okay, and finally, why to use Azure Pipelines? Okay, so why do you need Azure Pipelines? Now, Azure Pipelines provides a quick, easy and safe way to automate building your projects with consistent and code quality that's readily available to users okay so what are the key benefits is like it works with any language or platform it deploys to different types of targets at the same time it integrates it integrates with azure develop and uh, deployments it, you can build it on any uh, machines like windows linux or mac machines it integrates with github version controlling it works with open source projects too okay so these are the key benefits of using azure pipelines all right define pipelines using yaml syntax okay so uh, yaml means yet another markup language so uh, so your pipelines will more usually re evolve around this yaml okay so you need to definitely understand uh, yaml in order to master pipelines because this is something very much popularly used uh, we'll see about again I'm repeating the same stuff like we'll see all these things in our upcoming videos for now just focus on uh, these concepts only okay you define your pipeline in a yaml file called azure pipelines.yml with the rest of your app okay so if you look at this diagram so what actually happens is you, this is your code okay so you, you integrate it with your pipeline so when i say integrate it with your pipeline you will have an yaml file you will edit that yaml file and then you will push that code to your version control repo and it will uh, trigger the, your Azure pipelines and finally it will deploy it to the target okay so this is the flow uh, uh, that will happen when you work with yaml file okay similar to this yaml fi uh, syntax there is something called defining the pipelines using classic interface okay classic interface means you can imagine it as a ui you can Im uh, you can build a pipeline in the ui form which will actually help you in uh, uh visualizing how you build a pipeline okay F what you do is first you edit a code and push the code to the repo and uh, see we have this ci task continuous integration task where you will build a task and the test the task and there's something called artifact right we discussed earlier so we'll uh, look into this uh, in detail so there is a something called artifact more like a, a package or a bundle Okay, and then comes your continuous deployment where multiple release m can happen depending upon your project requirement and finally you will deploy it to your target or any production environment okay so this is a very high level overview about um, using working with pipelines using yaml and uh, classic in uh, interface okay do not worry uh, you know we'll touch all these concepts in detail in our upcoming videos but for now as i said earlier i want you to understand all these concepts in a higher level so that you can relate uh, all these concepts whenever we do practical sessions in our upcoming videos okay so just a recap first you know we saw about what is azure pipelines and three important uh, concepts to understand in devops is ci cd and continuous testing okay so you need definitely need to understand how this works and uh, a quick recap about version control we discussed about azure repos earlier right so if you are new to this uh, version controlling i would suggest you to watch my previous uh, videos on azure repos which you which will give you a very clear idea about uh, what is azure repo and how uh, we integrate azure devops with the version controlling system and all okay and this is a very high level information about what are the languages and applications that are supported in the azure pipelines and uh, you can deploy it on multiple environments you can make it in a uh, package formats everything and all and finally we have something related to pricing um, uh, you know if you want to use azure pipelines you're going to obviously understand how the pricing works in azure devops so i will give you all the useful links uh, with related to pricing because uh, you know it's a it's a vast uh, you know this video will be quite long if i cover this in detail so i will give you that useful links which is very user friendly to understand so you can go through this link and you can pick up which is easier for your requirement 
and we saw about the benefits of Azure pipelines and we saw a very quick introduction about uh, how to uh, use a pipelines with YAML and what are uh, how do we use pipelines with classic interface okay so I want you to understand these concepts at a higher level once we start doing uh, once we start creating a pipeline and start doing activities one by one you will have a very clear understanding about how to master Azure pipelines so uh, yes guys that's all what I want to cover as part of this video if you have any queries please let me know in the comment section if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you